Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get a lot of messages for our table. Want to be one quickly the review to you concerning the things want to be said if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. The first one want to be said they reach our table here. Now, the message when it be say Peter Obey, when it be the presidential candidate of Labour Party, sent across to Amebola Tenebon as a warning concerning the day to day loans when it be said that they carry all over the world. And the title of this one, Tossi, Obey warns Tenebon against taking new loans as he go ahead to take Tenebon, say, make a commerce to give accounts. For the past loans, when the business they don't borrow before in the choir for a new one. All right. After this one, we equally get other ones when the business will review to you one after the other. And before we go on, one quickly beg you for one thing: help us to like this video because the more you like this video, the more YouTube they recommend them to people. Now their own policy now in be that very one. Thank you so much for your support. All right, may we do one or two readings from inside this very one. May we understand the details of this news before we bring you others. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the comic of the stance, the former Anabra state governor come aside to accuse Amebola Tenebun led government over their excessive borrowing without a corresponding record of how EBC that they use all those money for the budget when EBC they tell us say if they make them they borrow all those money and still on top of the matter the comic us understand say in Peter Obi they very concerned about the way when EBC our government they, they borrow money as we consider their galloping rates over the years and also the effect for the economy. This one are the statement when the Peter Obi they released. And still on top of the matter, he can tell say, wait till they make this thing they call for consign for everybody, not pass BC. He not get any corresponding visible usage or investment as required by the law for the money when it be say that they borrow so. At the end of the second quarter, which is Q2 of 2023, our debt as a nation, when EBC we don't borrow so far, therefore, it is 7.9 trillion naira. When EBC, it they very, very disturbing to each and every one of us. Why? Because we don't know what we use this money for, especially the over 23 trillion naira ways and miss borrow by the last administration when it's supposed for me to end our borrow without any visible corresponding investment and benefit to the nation but sadly and more worrisome the fast remains bc between the end of the third quarter q3 and the end of the fourth quarter q4 of 2023 about 10 trillion naira still add join our debt when EBC with the O. And the implication of this whole thing, which is the consequences, not past BC. For a quarter, the money when EBC with the borrow now about 10 trillion naira. And also, the money when EBC with the spend to service those loan now also about 10 trillion naira. And each of this money so, it did more than the combined budget allocation for the four highest priority areas, like the defense, na 3.25 trillion naira. For the area of education, na 2.18 trillion naira. For the area of health, na 1.33 trillion naira. And infrastructure, na 1.32 trillion naira. And waiting at the beg the federal government of the day for no pass BC, may the first of all leave borrow and let us first sit down, reevaluate waiting we don't achieve with previous money when BC we borrow and make better decisions for the good of the nation. And for us to get the new Nigeria of our dream, we not go only account 
for our scarce resources, we must also make sure say, we productively and prudently manage and also move our nation from consumption to production. This one, the message will be so they receive from the presidential candidate of Labour Party and also the former governor of Anabra State, when it be say in name na Peter Obi to the federal government of Nigeria, led by President Amebola Tenebon. All right, my great and wonderful people, I believe say you don't hear everything from the mouth of Peter Obi. The reason why it be say we take our time to read this message to this very extent, now for you to understand the total message and the reason behind why Peter Obi descend this message. All right, we don't get much time to waste for this one. I believe say it is very clear to each and every one of us. Now, I will leave you to do justice to the rest for us for the comment session, even as we take you down to this other message because of time. And this message, now message when it be say it consign the warning when it be say EFCC, when it also mean the Economic and Financial Crisis Commission, they send across to all schools and all hotels for inside this country, Nigeria, when it be say they, they collect dollar as their own fees. And the title of this one to say EFCC to clamp down on schools, hotels, supermarkets when it be say it charge for dollar. All right, I believe say this very message not be now that would they tell us say they want to go clamp down people when it be say that they deal on dollar. No, this will not be the time. It's supposed me they don't do this thing a long time ago because I don't see any reason why it be say anybody would they trade with dollar for inside this country. I don't see any reason. I never see any country in the world when they be say you will enter today. Say na naira na they they pay their school fees for their country. I never see her. In no day. Even to the least country, you know they exist. Now only Nigeria, this kind of foolish things they take place. Yes, sorry. Say I use that very harsh word. May we forget the fact, say yes, all of us need money. Because truly. A majority of us, they are among the reason why ABC, our country, dies to this very extent. Because of our greed. Yes, I would date this country. You build school here, you get hotel, or you get supermarket. You will say, if not be dollar, say nobody will attend those schools or buy something for your supermarket. If you must buy something there, or you must send your child to the school there, you must pay with dollar. That will not be greed. Tell me, that will not be great. You see the reason why we see all of us day here. So people like this, if I don't tell when you say yes, they're supposed to don't day for prison. Yes, they're supposed to don't use them as scapegoats for others to learn. No, they're not going to do it. Why? Because then they said EFCC, they still they benefit from people like this. Yes. When it be said they will track these people now, before you know what it they happen, some brown envelope, Ghana must go, go on that table. Before you know what it they happen, case like this don't go down. And the people equally still continue for their bad ways again. Now, it make all of us, they hear like this. All right, I don't get much time to waste for this very message. I will leave you to do the rest for us for the comment section, even as we draw the line of this very broadcast here. And before we say a final goodbye, I beg not forget to do us a favor by sharing this video and also liking this video because the more you like this video, the more YouTube they recommend them to people. Now, their own policy now it be that very one. Thank you so much for your support. All right, I will draw the line here. I will see you again when I see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.